uh, <laughs> trying to sign a withdrawal agreement without having legally binding text on the future partnership would leave the UK in a deeply vulnerable position and unable to negotiate properly. So will she confirm today that, in her view, no deal is still a lot better than a bad deal, and a bad deal is giving £39 billion away that we need to spend on our priorities for no good reason? Can I, can I say to my right honourable friend, I still do still believe that no deal is better than a bad deal. I am still working for what I believe is the best outcome for the UK, which is a good negotiated deal with the European Union for the future. But of course, we continue with our no deal preparations. We have, of course, uh, indicated in relation to the financial settlement, as my right honourable friend will know, uh, the uh, uh, discussions that have already and negotiations have already taken place on that. Uh, but what we are also clear about is the importance of linking the withdrawal agreement to the future relationship, such that we cannot find the, ourselves in a limbo situation, and that we are able to see that future relationship committed to by the European Union and put in place, as I say, I want to see put in place on the 1st of January 2021.